Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to solve a system of linear equations, and specifically how to solve a system graphically. So what is a solution to a system of equations? Well, a solution is an ordered pair, remember that's an xy coordinate, that satisfies both equations. So that ordered pair needs to work for both of the equations in the system. Let's look at an example where we're given two different ordered pairs and a system of linear equations, and we're trying to identify which ordered pair, or maybe both, are solutions. So to do this, we're going to plug in the given ordered pair into each of the given equations and verify that we get a true statement. So let's start with the ordered pair negative 1, negative 1. We substitute that in to our first equation, and we check that it equals negative 5. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Well, negative 2 plus a negative 3 is negative 5, and does negative 5 equal negative 5? Yeah, it does. So this first ordered pair, negative 1, negative 1, does work within our first equation. So let's check it in the second equation. Well, the second equation would be 4 times negative 1 minus 5 times negative 1 equals 23. So negative 4, negative 5 times a negative 1 is a positive 5 equals 23. Well, negative 4 plus 5, well, that sums to just 1. Does 1 equal 23? No, it doesn't. So, since this ordered pair, negative 1, negative 1, did not work in the second equation, it is not going to be the solution for this system. So we move on and we check the second ordered pair, 2, negative 3. We plug that into our first equation. So 2 times 2 plus 3 times negative 3, and see if that equals negative 5. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 equals negative 5. Well, 4 plus a negative 9 is a negative 5, and negative 5 does indeed equal negative 5, so the ordered pair 2, negative 3 does work in our first equation. So now we check it in our second equation. So 4 times 2 minus 5 times negative 3 equals 23. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, and negative 5 times a negative 3 is a positive 15, and does that equal 23? Well, 8 plus 15 is 23, and 23 does equal 23, so that checks. Now, since that point, 2, negative 3, worked in both of our equations, that is a solution to this system. So here we have one point, 2, negative 3, that works. So let's look at what it means to solve these graphically. So a graphical solution, you graph each of the equations you're given, and any point where they intersect is your solution. So it's the point that they have in common. Remember from the previous video where we talked about slope-intercept form, that when we have slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, that's the easiest way to graph a line. So we're going to rewrite each of the equations we're given in slope-intercept form. So let's rewrite the first one. Here we have x plus y equals negative 3. To get it in slope-intercept form, I need to isolate the y. So we'll subtract x from both sides. And that leaves us with y equals negative x minus 3. So now that we're in slope-intercept form, we plot the intercept first. So the y-intercept is negative 3. So from the origin, you count down 3. And there's your y-intercept. Then you use your slope, negative 1 here, and do rise over run and calculate your next point. 
So from our y-intercept, a negative slope, we go down one, right one. And remember, you can do this as many times as you need to to be able to get that straight line. And remember, I need a lot of these dots to draw a straight line. That's pretty good. So you should also always label your line. And I like to label it with the original equation. So this one was x plus y equals negative 3. Now we're going to solve the second equation in terms of y. And I'm going to do this in the color red. I like to use two different colors so that I can easily distinguish my lines. So here I have x minus y equals 1. And I want to isolate y. So let's subtract x from both sides, and that gives us negative y equals negative x plus 1. Well, we need it to be a positive y, so let's divide each of our terms by negative 1. And then we get y equals x minus 1. So again, plot your y-intercept first. That's negative 1. And then here we have a positive slope, and it's positive 1. So we would rise 1 and run 1. And let's give myself plenty of dots. And continue the line in the other direction. Now we're looking for the point of intersection. So where do these two lines cross? Right here. So that's our solution. So now we just have to find the coordinates of that solution. So the x-coordinate is negative 1, and the y-coordinate is negative 2. Oops, I almost forgot to label my red line. So that was the equation x minus y equals 1. So we've graphed both of those lines. We found the point of intersection. So our solution is the point negative 1, negative 2. Let's look at another example. So again, start with the first equation, x minus y equals 2, and let's rewrite it in terms of y. So subtract x from both sides to get negative y equals negative x plus 2. We need a positive y, so divide all of those terms by negative 1 to get the equation y equals x minus 2. Okay, so plot the y-intercept, negative 2. And then from that y-intercept, we use our slope, which here is positive 1. So rise 1, run 1. Give myself lots of dots so I can give you the best straight line I can possibly draw. Pretty good. Label that line. This one is x minus y equals 2. And then we can move on to the second equation. So the second equation, 1 half x plus y equals 4. So we need to isolate y, subtract the 1 half x from both sides. And that gives us the equation y equals negative 1 half x plus 4. So plot that y-intercept, which is 4, right here. And then our slope is negative 1 half. So we need to go down 1 and write 2. We can do that a couple times. Oh, look, there's our intersection. Remember, I need lots of points. And let's label that line. This one is 1 half x plus y equals 4. And while plotting those points, we found that point of intersection. So let's identify the coordinates. 1, 2, 3, 4 for our x, and then 2 for our y. So our point of intersection, which is the solution to this system, is the point 4, 2. OK, let's look at the next page. So here we have three different types of linear systems that you'll encounter. So far, we've only encountered this first type, which is the intersecting lines. 
So here you have one solution where those two lines cross. It's a consistent system, meaning that a solution exists, and it's independent equations. So that means the equations are different. They're not the same. The second type of system you could see are where you have parallel lines. Well, notice that parallel lines never touch, so there's no solution. And then since there's no solution, this is called an inconsistent system. And then our last situation would be identical lines. So that's if you graph both lines and they're exactly the same. There, you would have infinitely many solutions because they share every single point in common. This is also a consistent system because a solution exists. And the difference is that it's dependent equations. That's because those equations, in order to create the exact same line, are the exact same equation, maybe just written in a different format. So we're not going to see all three of these examples in this video, but we'll see it in the next two videos where we talk about solving systems of equations with substitution and elimination. For now, let's move on to another example, everybody's favorite, an application example or a word problem. So remember with a word problem, the first thing you want to do is read through that word problem and get a clear understanding of what's happening and what the question wants you to solve for. So we're told digital downloads and streaming subscriptions account for 60% of all music revenues. Digital download revenues are double the streaming subscription revenues. And then we're asked, Part A, write a system of two equations that describes the given information. And then Part B, solve your system graphically and interpret your solution. So if we need to write a system of two equations, that means we're going to have two variables. So let's keep it simple, call our variables x and y. Now what are the two variables? What are the two things that are changing? Well, we have digital downloads and streaming subscriptions. And we're talking about the revenue from each of these. So let's call X our digital percent of revenue. And Y will be the streaming percent of revenue. So now that we know what our variables are, we can go sentence by sentence and translate those sentences into mathematical equations. So the first sentence tells us that digital downloads and streaming subscriptions account for 60% of music revenue. And means to add, so we know that x plus y equals 60. And then our second sentence tells us digital download revenues are double streaming subscription. So digital download revenue, that's x, r means equals double, you're doing two times streaming subscriptions, which is y. So our second equation is x equals 2y. So now that we have our system of two equations, we need to now solve the system graphically. And remember to do that, we need each of those equations in slope intercept form, y equals. So let's rewrite each of them. So the first equation, if we subtract x from both sides, we get the slope intercept form y equals negative x plus 60. So we can label our axes here in tens. So 60 would be right here. And that's our y-axis. And we can do the same on our x. So if our y-intercept is 60, we would start at this point. And our slope is negative 1. So every time we drop 10 units in y, we would need to increase 10 units of x. That's why I kept my increments the same on my x and my y axes. So I can just go block for block. 
So this gives us that first equation. Now I'm going to change colors and we'll look at the second equation. Well, we want to solve for y, so to do that we need to divide by 2 or multiply both sides by 1 half. So that'll give us the equation y equals 1 half x. Well, there's no intercept here, so that's the same as having an intercept of 0 or the origin. So there's our y-intercept. And then the rise is 1 and the run is 2. So every time we go up 10 units in y, we need to go right 20 units on x. And there's our intersection point. Let's connect those dots. And there's our second equation. So our point of intersection is right here. And what do we get for those values of x and y? Well, x is 10, 20, 30, 40 units, and y is 20. Now, part b wants us to interpret what this point 40, 20 means. And interpret just means write a sentence that explains it. So what does 40, 20 mean? Well, the 40 is the percent revenue of digital downloads, so we can say that digital downloads are 40% of music revenue. And the 20? Well, and streaming is 20%. That's a perfect interpretation of what the point 4020 means. It tells us that digital downloads are 40% of music revenue and streaming is 20%. Have a question or a problem you want help with? Leave it in the comments and I'll include it in one of my videos. If this video was helpful, subscribe to my channel for more math tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next time.